Hello all my YouTube subscribers and fans, welcome. Uh, what I'll be showing you guys today is to make a search engine for your website. And what this is, it's I call it Woogle. Uh, yeah, gay, I know. But anyway, it's just it's just a name I came up with. Um, but if you ever wanted to place a search box on your website and you want to index your own website, I'm going to teach you how to do that. I've set up my database already. I'm going to show you guys how to do this, but I set up my database already and everything. So I know for my contact page, I, I put one of my keywords as contact. So if I type the word contact and hit search, it'll pop up my, my link for my contact page with my description and the phone number that they can reach you at. So it's it's a pretty good way. And I know if I just hit space, because every time you hit space, it creates a new keyword. So if I hit space and I create, uh, I know in my services page, I put a keyword of web. So if I hit web, it will keep a contact page because the contact word is still there and web is still there. So it will keep contact and web but, and pull up the names that the pages that have those two search terms in it. So that's what we're creating today. Okay, guys? So without further ado, let's jump into Mr. Dreamweaver. And this is all the syntax, but I'm going to go over this afresh. I'm going to just get rid of all this and go over it afresh. Okay? So I have a folder that I'm going to save this in. So we're just going to create a new XML document. We don't even have to do PHP. And in the title tag, you can type whatever you want. But for me, I'm going to do, I'm going to do search engine. And in the body tag, I'm just going to set up a few uh, simple, simple tags. So I want it to be in the center. So I'm, I'm just going to use the, the center tag that's new in PHP 5. Uh, my phone's going off. So you just type the word center, and it will center anything you place inside this tag. So we're going to get a form element out here. <clears throat> so we're going to do action on our forms. And the action on the form is we're going to do dot slash R-E-S-U-L-T-S. -E so results, because we're going to create a PHP file called results. And dot PHP. So that's what we're going to do with that. We're going to do the method. Oops. Method of get. And after we do our get method, then we're just going to close our form off. Now we're going to insert some field in here for this. So I'm going to indent this. So I'm going to say input. And I'm going to put our input type. I'm going to put our type at text. And we'll put the name as input. And after our name, we're going to set a size. I'm going to put my size of, say, 50. OK. And another input field. Oops. So in this, we're going to put type. And our type, we're going to be submit. And our value for this, we're going to say search, S-E-A-R-C-H, okay, shut that bad boy off. So essentially what we create, it's just a simple form with a button sitting next to it, and you know, it just has the search box with a button sitting next to it, so that's pretty much all we create. So I'm going to jump back into code view. I'm going to put a header tag um, in, in this. So I'm going to say, for my header tag, I'm going to do h1 for this. And inside h1, I'm going to call it, well, I won't do all caps, but Google. <laughs> yes, I know. It's gay. I'm going to set a style on this just, just for the heck of the tutorial. And I'm going to say color. I'm going to set my color to a blue. And size, font size. And font size, I'm going to set pretty, pretty high. So let's do 36. Close it up. So all we did is create Google search box. Okay? So now we can save this. That's all we need for the home page. And I'm going to save it in test engine. And we're going to give this name index. Okay, let's jump into code view. And we are going to delete all this right here. Oops, control Z. 
You don't want to delete all that. Let's just get rid of the form. And leave the center tag with my Woogle in there. I need my I need my Woogle. Okay, guys. So let's help the PHP side of things to make to make all this bad boy here run. Okay. Okay, so we're gonna save this page as the same the page that the results page that we want. Um I shouldn't have got rid of my form, so you wanna just do control Z to get your form back. Um so I I'm gonna need that form actually. No idea why I did that. So we're gonna set up some PHP some PHP blocks. So we're gonna do PHP and actually we're going to need to transfer this over to um, PHP format. Okay, guys, sorry for being so misleading, but yeah, we're going to have to transfer this over to PHP format in order to make this work. So what we're going to do is I am going to just go to my test folder. I'm just going to close out of this. Don't save changes. Go to my test folder. I'm going to rename this PHP. Well, we're going to need PHP, so I'm going to open it up again just so I can have the form. Go file, save as, and this time I'm going to call it results. So now we got a results and an index page right here, as you can see. So the index page, results page, doesn't look that much different right now because we just copied the uh, index page. So we do need to have PHP blocks. So um, let's start for the mix up right there. So, so we're going to create a PHP tag, and for our PHP tag, we're going to put an echo statement. So we're going to say echo, <coughs> sorry, my throat is killing me, number sign, dollar sign, I mean, underscore, get, so we're telling it to get, and we're going to get the input method, so we're going to get, whoops, so we're going to get the input, so that's what we're, we're going to get out of the our database here, and then we're going to to a close PHP block on that one. So what's happened initially happening here? So what we're saying is get this out of the database. We're telling to get it from the database and initially this echo statement, let's X this out. Sorry guys, my brain is not working. I'm a, I'm a bit sick, so um, not no excuse, but so paste it right there. So that's where we need to put that inside the first input tag. So it's going to get whatever we place in the text in the search box on here. So whatever we place in this box here, it's going to get it and transfer it over to this box over here. So that's what that's doing. It's just going to get that info out of one box, place it into another. So that's what we're doing with that one. Okay. So now we can just get out of our center tag here. I'm going to put a horizontal line on here just to break things up a little bit and now we're going to add some PHP not a PHP block in here and I'm going to indent this and I'm going to say dollar sign <coughs> input space equals I'm going to do dollar sign get <coughs> Input. So that's what we're, we're just doing the same thing that we did above. And we're going to put a semicolon to close that up. So now on the second line, we're going to turn, we're going to put that explode function. So we're going to say dollar sign terms space equal space e x p l o d e. So we're going to explode curly brace, we're going to do quote quote, and inside that quote we're going to put a space, and I'll explain that to you in a second. Um, if I lost you, I'll explain everything to you as I go. So dollar sign again, and then we're going to say input. I'm going to do a bracket and close that one up. <coughs> what have I done wrong here? Something is not correct. Hold on. Alright, I know what I've done wrong. I'm just just not on whoa just not come on just not on the ball today at all that's what I did wrong 
I'm just not on the ball today at all, guys. Sorry. Um, so what this is doing, it's exploding the term. So in our database, whenever we put a space between a word in our keywords, it's going to count as a new keyword. So by putting a space here, you're telling it that by every space, you want a new keyword. If you wanted a comma, we could do that. So it will, every time we put a comma, it will count as a new keyword, but it's just easier to go space. So that's what that's doing, guys. And we're just exploding the functions. So like I said, this might be two or three videos. So we're gonna set up um, the array function here now. So I'm gonna say uh, dollar sign, the query I mean, Q U. why do I do capital, get off all caps? So it's Q U. <coughs> E R Y. So we're going to query this space equals space quote quote. And inside this quote, in all caps, we're going to do select space. We're going to do an asterisk sign, which is a star key, and we're going to do space and from. And I'm going pretty close. Um, and we're going to say S E A R C H. If you remember, we name one of our fields search. If you guys right here. So we're saying get the query from here. So that's what, that's what this is saying, okay? And we're gonna say, this one is all caps, where, we do a space, and outside that, we're gonna close that bad boy up. When I'm done, I'm just gonna type this out. When I'm done, I'll explain all this crap. Uh, so we're gonna force, Force, ah, oh, come on, stop. My keyboard is, I, it does that every single time I do Camtasia Studio. I don't know why. So it's going to say force. We're going to do space and a bracket. <coughs> and we're going to say term. We're going to say force, I'll assign terms as dollar sign each. And I'm pretty sure I lost you already, but uh, don't worry. I'll, I'll explain it all out, okay? Now, here we're going to say dollar sign i. Maybe I should just type this out and come back and explain it all to you guys. And we're going to do plus plus. I'm going to say a curly brace to shut that off. And we're going to say if. I'm going to set up an if statement. If dollar sign i equal equals space one. So we're saying if it's have a value of one, we're going to get it. Because remember now, uh, when, I, when, we, when we're setting up our database, you guys are going to see how this all comes together. Okay? You guys are starting to get the whole idea of how this all comes together. So we're going to say dollar sign query space. And we're going to do a dot equal sign. And we're going to say space on this quote, quote. And we're going to get the keywords from the database. So we're going to say I should have said a database before you guys are going to get this, but keywords, I'm working backwards. L-I-K-E, like, I'm going to do single quotes. And inside of a single quote, we have to do a percentage sign. I'm going to say E-A-C-H, each, a percentage sign again. <coughs> and then we go outside a single quote, put a space and a semicolon to close that up. And it's saying I made an error. I better fix that before I go any further. No, I'm just going to go ahead and type it out and not worry about fixing it yet. When I close this off, I'll see if I made an error. Or not, because sometimes it's just because I haven't closed this off. And then we're going to do an else statement. We're going to say else. Not E-L-S-E. Come on. <laughs> Else, if double sign, if query, again, equal sign, on the capital, or keyword, like, mm, what do I need to do? I'm, I'm spacing on this one. I think, I, yeah, single quote inside dollar sign. E A C H dollar sign. I think that's what I need to do. I, I know at the end here, I'm sure. And I need another quotation right there. 
And I think that looks about ready, so I should just close it off, I guess. Uh, saying I made an error. I'm having an error, 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 error. Okay, so I'm going to fix this and come back. And I'm going to stop this video and come back for the next video. Uh, let me fix the error first and then I'll show you. Then I'll go make another video because, like I said, it's going to be two or three parts of the search engine. Okay, guys, so I figured out what I was doing wrong here. This is not, it's not, I made a mistake right here. It's not force, it's for each. I don't know. I like I told you, my brain is skipping, but it's all going to work in the end. That's all we need to know. So it's for each, not for. So I'm going to stop this video. It's getting pretty lengthy, and I'm going to jump to the next video. And at the end of this, you guys will be able to create a fully working search engine for your website.